on the working diagram, I have finished this particular sewing. I went across the path, completed this sewing. I just worked back across the trail and I'm right here. So I'd like to show you on the actual cat where that is. But before I do, notice this is another gentle curve. So this gentle curve has a twist and the pair goes down and the pair that was the working pair has a twist and is set aside just as if you were doing a gentle curve. So looking at the cat, here's the pair that's waiting. Here's my working pair. I put a twist on the pair that was waiting. I work through it, cross, twist, cross, tension. This is now the pair that is set aside so it gets one twist. The twist that was the edge pair is now my new working pair. It goes through the, the trail, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, tension. When you look now, you can see that I need to join with my three prong sewing. So use your Lazy Susan or your crochet hook and join it there. Don't forget, since this is a three pair join, it gets four twists, twists, one, two, three, four, and sew it in. The three prong sewing is completed. There are four twists on the working pair. I go back through the trail, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, tension. The pair that's waiting has a twist on it. Work through that pair, cross, twist, cross, and put a twist on the worker because it will now wait. The pair that I just finished, the working pair is set aside. The pair that is on the edge returns through the trail. Cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross, cross, twist, cross. And if you look very carefully on your working drawing, you will see that there's still one pin left right in there. And we need to sew into that pin. The sewing on the right has been completed. There were three twists before the sewing, now three twists after the sewing. Continue back through the trail at cross, twist, cross. Your cloth stitch, like you've been doing the entire cat, cross, twist, cross. When you reach the other side, there's still the pair that you set aside, go through that pair. Looking at the working diagram, you can now see that the two pairs on the left are complete and the three pairs on the right are complete. I'm going to move them aside so you can actually see the pinholes. And in looking at the pins, you will see at the top of the dark line being where our trail is going, there are two pins. The two pair on the left go into the pair on the left. The three pair on the right are sewn into the pinhole on the right. There are two pins. There are two other little tiny pins which are actually part of the ear. You need this pin on the right and this pin on the left. So please sew those in. You can be sure I'm going to be using a Lazy Susan to do that sewing. In sewing the pairs into the pinhole, I pull a loop from one of the bobbins, place the other bobbin through that loop. Then I pull up thread from the second pair, a loop, and place the second bobbin through that loop. I do the same thing with the three pairs on this side. And after you've completed each of those sewings, stop and I'll show you how I tie them off.